Things are very serious, you know, I don't want to die. No one wants to die, and I don't want to die. I mean, some shit just fucking fell off the building right there, you know? I mean, anything could happen. My name's Matt Tudor. I'm a Chicago native and um, Chicago-based photographer. Um, I'd say the biggest thing that takes precedence is my interest in photographing our forgotten yet adored architecture, being it either abandoned or it being slated for demolition. Basically every housing project that was made during the 20th century is now gone. And these are still here, so that's just kind of crazy. They won't be here for long though. I basically started doing this work about 10 years ago, just kind of watching the gentrification process beginning to change neighborhoods and seeing no one was really capturing these buildings. They were just being demolished and gone forever. To look at structures that are that significant in Chicago and be like, oh, it's old, it's no good. That's just, that's just silly. There's nothing that I'm shooting that's not pertinent to Chicago. I mean, like it or not, it's your history, you know, it's a city you're living in. like this by yourself, you have to pay attention to your surroundings. I've been extremely lucky, I feel, but that luck could be done anytime, you know? So I'm always, always super cautious when I'm in these places. We're standing inside the oldest abandoned structure in Chicago. It was one of Chicago's large public housing villages of the 20th century. And we're standing in the last of 40, original 40 buildings. It's significant to me personally, just due to the fact that I kind of got to see this location before its total demolition, before the residents moved out. Yeah, this one, I really, I really like this one too. I really like this graffiti that was left behind. I think this is a really beautiful room too. I don't know, I just kind of think like in places like this, like if walls could talk, you know, all the problems that it's seen, all the issues over the years. When you come to a place like this, you got all this gear with you. I mean, that could pose a problem, you know, someone's hungry, they got nothing. They want to put you in the same place, basically. The first time I came in here, when I heard that person, um, it was towards the beginning of my career doing this kind of work, so I was still kind of, you know, new to it. But he came down the stairs, and I was standing right here, just waiting. I was totally ready for anything, tell you the truth, and I was just waiting for him to breach past this doorway and see what... Tell you the truth, I was either gonna fight him or jump out the window, and he continued on down and he didn't pass me. So I was glad, I just, I didn't want to see anybody, tell you the truth. There's someone upstairs, look at them. There's some people, they're graffiti writers. They look like toys though. Yeah.
when I go into something like this, I'm trying to find pertinent images, you know, things that are important to the building, things that are, that are significant, things that look beautiful. Um, I think this room kind of falls into the, uh, the realm of kind of beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean, just the light and the, the overall colors from the walls are great. I was always interested in buildings. You know, I'd see an abandoned building, maybe stick my head in a little, you know, but never really go in. So, I mean, it's scary. It's scary to go into some place by yourself. A lot of people don't want to do that. I think it comes back to a personal, just a feeling of a personal obligation. To start taking photos where most people would stop. That's what I really feel I do. Where they wouldn't find things to be beautiful, that's where I start. And then that's where the beauty is exposed. I'm addicted to taking photos. I have risked my life in the past getting into these buildings. I will continue to do it too, because I feel that it's important. I feel like I'm providing a service to the city of Chicago through the risks that I take. I am Chicago's photographer.